Okay, so this video is going to be a sewing tutorial on how I made this top right here. And I also just made a pattern for it that looks like this. And I will have a link down below. Uh, if you want to watch how I made this top, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is print out a sewing pattern. I have mine linked down below. So you're just going to print it out, cut out all the pieces, and then tape it together. So this is what it's going to look like when you print it out. And they're all numbered and have letters so you know exactly the order that they go in. This is what it's going to look like after you cut the pieces out and tape them together. This is the front side and this is the back side. And all you're going to want to do is try to line up the notches as close as you can. Also, this pattern is for somebody whose chest is 37 inches and waist is 31.5 inches, but you can adjust it to whatever size you need. So let's say your chest was uh, 32, then you would just measure out 16 inches up here. And if your waist was a 26, then you would measure out 13 inches here. And you would make these two dots, you would draw a line between them, and then just cut off this excess part. And then you would do the same for the back side. And if you need it to be bigger, then you would just set this on your fabric and then um, add another inch or however many inches you need on the side. Now you're gonna wanna pin your pattern to fabric. You're gonna cut out two pieces of fabric that are 21 by 17 inches. And then for the front side, it's gonna be 21 by 21 inches. Now it's time to sew the two pieces together. I'm going to start by sewing the outside part here, the inside part here, and then the outside part here. And I'll show you what that looks like after I finish. But right now you're not going to want to sew the bottom part here, and you're not going to sew this part up here either. And you're going to do the same thing for the front side. I ended up using a serger instead of a sewing machine, but you can use either one. But you're basically going to serge it and just leave the bottom and the shoulder straps open. I flip them inside out and iron them. We're gonna start with the back side. You're just gonna wanna serge the bottom and then hem it. And then for the front part, you're gonna wanna add boning. So we're gonna make boning channels. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. Here's the back side. I'm just gonna serge it really quick. I just went through the serger. Now I'm just gonna fold it and then add pins. So I'll do that all along the bottom. I just got done adding the clips. Now I'm just going to do a straight stitch on my sewing machine to finish off that hem. Just finished hemming that. Now I just have to add boning channels to the front side. So you're going to want to take some fabric chalk and a straight edge and then just do a line. Maybe like an inch and a half or two inches away from the side. So you'll do it on this side, and then you're also going to do it on this side over here. And then another line kind of off center from the middle. So you're going to want to sew it and just follow that straight line. Now that you have your straight line, you're going to want to do another straight line right next to it, big enough for your boning to fit. So in my case, I'm going to have to make another straight line next to it, 1.5 centimeters away from this line. So I just added the second line right here and I cut out some boning. And I like to leave a little bit of space down here just so I can hem it. But you're also going to want to round out the edges a little bit just so it doesn't poke you while you're wearing it. But you're just gonna put this here and then it'll just go right in. And then as you can see, there's still a little bit of space down here so you can fold it and hem it just so that there's a clean edge. And then you're gonna wanna repeat that with the middle part and then the side part. And then after you do the middle part, you'll be able to add the side parts here as well. And I'll show you what that looks like after I finish. I just finished the other side in the middle and now that I finished the middle I can kind of gauge where I want the other two lines to be. So I added one here and I added one here and I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the other three. 
I added the two other channels on the side right here. So now all we have to do is serge the bottom part, fold it, pin it, and then put it through here. So we're basically just gonna hem it the same way that we hemmed the back side. The front side and the back side are now hemmed. So now you're gonna put both of these facing each other like that. And then you're gonna pin the straps together here and then pin those together like that. And then you're gonna serge it on top. And then after I serge it, I like to do a straight stitch on top of that. So I'll show you what that looks like after I do that. So I just searched the straps, but just to make it extra secure, I'm going to do a straight stitch on my sewing machine on top of the part that I searched. So I just finished doing the straps. So you're just going to flip it. And that's what it's going to look like when you're wearing it but I still have to add the grommet, so I'll do that right now. So this is what the front of the grommet looks like. This is what the back of the grommet looks like. I use this to punch holes in the fabric, and then I use this to secure the grommet onto the fabric. And these are called hand-pressed grommet machines. You can get them on Amazon for like $50, $60. So now I'm gonna punch five holes on this side, five holes on this side, and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the back, so I'll do five holes over here and then five holes on this side. So you just put your fabric between the bottom and top part, so just slide it in through there. And then you're just gonna push this down and it's gonna punch a hole in it. So now you have the little hole right there. You're gonna get the front side of the grommet and put it between there. And then you're gonna take the back side of the grommet and then put it on the back side here and you're gonna slide it face down into the hand press grommet machine. So it's just gonna go there, and then you're gonna push this down. After you push it down, it's gonna be super secure. There's like no way it's gonna come out of there. So I'm basically gonna do that um, for the front side and the back side. I'll show you guys what that looks like after I finish. I just finished adding the grommets, so this is what the side is going to look like. And this is what it's going to look like when it's on. In total, it probably took me like two and a half hours. So I think this is basically the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. And if you want to get the pattern, it's going to be in my bio. And if you want to buy one of these already made, I sell them on Etsy and Depop. So. You can just send me your measurements and I'll make it. So if anyone's interested in placing an order, the best place to reach me is on Etsy or Depop. I always check my messages on there. But if you want to watch more sewing content, I post pretty regularly on TikTok and Instagram. And then on YouTube, I'm going to try to make more in-depth sewing tutorials whenever I make new sewing patterns. And I just taught myself how to make um, sewing patterns on Adobe Illustrator, so I feel like I'm going to make more sewing patterns soon. So if you want to watch more of those kind of videos, then make sure to subscribe. So I'm editing the YouTube video now, but I just remembered if anybody makes this corset using my sewing pattern, um, I think it'd be cool if you tag me on Instagram so I can see. Because I remember last time a couple of people tagged me because of my last YouTube video. And I thought it was really cool and I liked their post and I like shared it and stuff. So if anybody does that again, um, I think that would be really cool. Okay, now it's actually the end of the video. Goodbye.